In this video, we're going to be going over AI for everyone, and this is our part 12 video inside of this series. And this is also going to be our last video inside of this series, and specifically today, we're going to go over technical tools for AI teams. We're going to cover over some commonly used tools, and we're also going to cover over some useful tools that will help AI teams to accomplish better goals and better tasks. So we're first going to start off with open source frameworks. So the following are going to be some popular open source machine learning frameworks. So we have TensorFlow, PyTorch, Keras, MXNet, CNTK, and there's a few more here. And these are some really popular open source frameworks. And if you're interested, you can check all of these out and see which one will work best for you. And furthermore, for research sharing, so if you want to share your research or look at other people's research, then a really good tool that you can use is Archive. So research breakthroughs in AI are often freely published on Archive, accelerating progress in the field. So if you're looking for research and you also want to share your own research, then you can go and publish something on Archive and you can allow many different people around the world to see. So this is our second open source framework that we talked about. And furthermore, for code repositories, so if you want to upload your code onto a certain platform, so then you can just update it over there for other people to see or for yourself to see, you can use GitHub. So GitHub is a de facto platform for sharing open source AI software. So you can share your code, you can share your applications, you can share whatever you want inside of GitHub. So this is a really good tool that you can use for your projects, and it is also open source. So now we're going to talk about software licensing. So for open source, many AI tools are open source or have permissive licenses, but it's essential to double check the license before actually using them inside of your product. So we're just seeing here, so for software licensing, most of the AI tools are open source, but just make sure you double check before you do anything with the softwares because you need to make sure that you're passing the software licensing agreements. And now we're going to cover over hardware terms. So there's two different main hardwares inside of your computer, and these are the CPU versus the GPU. So the CPU is called the central processing unit, and it's the main computer processor. So everything gets run through your CPU. And CPUs are usually made by Intel, AMD, and there's also a few other companies, but Intel and AMD seem to be the most popular companies to get a CPU from. And the other hardware term that we we'll cover is GPU. So GPU stands for Graphics Processing Unit, and it's initially designed for graphics, but it can also be used for deep learning nowadays. So GPUs usually before are used for computer graphics. They can help to run more games. You can use them to build really good projects or use 3D modeling, but you can also nowadays use it for deep learning. And specialized hardware, the companies that usually make them are NVIDIA, AMD, Google, Qualcomm, and there's a few different ones as well, but these are the four main big ones. And these companies are also starting to create specialized hardware for neural networks. And this is how a GPU looks like. So now we're going to talk about different deployment options. So let's just say that you have your application ready and you're ready to deploy it onto any different platform. So usually people like to store their information on the cloud. And here are some different really good softwares that you can use to deploy your stuff onto the cloud. So for cloud deployments, so you can rent computer servers from providers like AWS, Azure, or GCP. And in this case, I've used Azure before, so I can say that Azure is really good for cloud deployment. It can get really expensive sometimes, but if you, if you have the budget for it, then Azure or any of these other ones like AWS or GCP is a really good deployment option for your project. And furthermore into deployment options, so if you're looking for on-premises deployments, then you can actually create your own server in your own home or in your own company, and you can use that for computation. So you can upload your project onto an own server inside of your own company or even your own house. So in edge deployments, you can also process data on site. So you need to get the data, you need to look at it, and you need to spit out a response right after. And some examples can be like in a self-driving car. So in self-driving cars, you need to immediately scan the whole entire place. And once you scan the data, then you have to give a response and then work your way through it. And another example could be like a smart speaker for quick decision making. So this is another important thing that you may want to consider for your own project. And finally, for our final thoughts of this series, this is an overview of the tools and terms commonly used in AI industry, from software frameworks to hardware options and deployment methods. And this knowledge can help you to better understand what AI engineers are talking about. 
So that summarizes everything for the series. So thank you so much for watching this part 12 video. And also feel free to watch our part videos from 1 to 11 if you are interested inside of this series. So thank you so much for watching from Try To Be Useful. And we'll see you guys in our next series that we're going to create.